Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. And this is more of like an announcement video. But uh, we just thought we would let you guys know that the official Flip Normals forum is now live. And with that forum comes our first Flip Normals art challenge, which is sculpting Jack Sparrow. No, it's, <laughs> it's just making pirates. It's making pirates in 3D, um, whether it's anything pirate related, whether you want to do characters, environments, props, whatever it is, like if it's a game asset, if it's a VFX asset. Uh, anything that's 3D related, uh, you know, go nuts. Just make it as awesome as you can. We had some people asking about poly counts or technical restrictions or how do you present it. Just make it as awesome as you can. Yeah. Do the best job you can and present it in a way which is accessible online. Like don't present an OBJ file, but, <laughs> but you can present it through still images or Sketchfab or, you know, whatever you prefer. Honestly, this series is just to get people inspired about doing 3D. It's not about putting limitations on yourself. It's about making awesome 3D art and, and pushing yourselves. So this challenge runs until the 8th of September and we're gonna announce the winners on the 10th of September. So there's gonna be three winners here and so three prizes. The first prize is gonna get five official Flip Normals products um, that you can choose from. Uh, and then three products for the second prize and, and one for the third prize. And these are, these are challenges that we will be running uh, every month from now on. So once a month, we're going to launch a new challenge with new winners and new themes. This is something you've been sort of doing in the past as well with your speed sculpting group on Facebook. Yes, exactly. Um, so but now, now we have prizes. Yeah, now we have prizes and we have a bigger community. And yeah, I think this is this is something we've been wanting to do for a long time. You know, we've been we've been really big on on trying to create a community around Flip Normals. The same reason why we uh, created our Discord to begin with, which is also you know the form is like an extension of the Discord. So the Discord we found is really nice for people to engage with each other and get quick feedback on their projects, and also just come in and, and shoot the shit like me i'm like most of the time in chit chat i don't really frequent the other channels but i know a lot of people are in feedback and a lot of people post in in the galleries so you know it's there's something for everyone there's a really good community which we've been fostering now for a good year uh it's just it's just really nice because one thing when you're doing 3d is it can get a bit lonely sometimes and actually mm. meeting people online we had a we had a flip normals uh, uh discord meetup in january in london which is really fun a bunch of people showed up and yeah we went out had and had good food and, and good times so yeah the forum is like an extension of that we we've realized that there were a few limitations of discord especially when it came to having a long running a sketchbook or wanting feedback where you can actually go back and find the feedback because like if you're only on discord and you have to search for specific messages that can get quite annoying so with the flip almost forum uh, you'll be able to you know collect that and have that store that forever it's really good for troubleshooting as well because yeah. if you have a, a technical issue you just have to explain it with permanent a permanent link to people mm. so yeah. aside from the challenges there's also uh some other sub forums in here as well where we have a general chit chat where Henning has just posted about uh, everything that's wrong with Blender. <laughs> oh no, uh, no, you should check out the post because it's not about that. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just explaining my uh, my uh, digging in, me digging into Blender, what are my first impressions. Mm. And it's, it's just about uh, people talking about general CG things, yeah. whatever it's on your mind. We've got a showcase and a sketchbook. So for, for people that want to present their work in progress or like kind of have a running library where they want to post all their finished pieces, as well as a sketchbook that you can just constantly keep up to date. Um, if you want, you know, feedback and you want people to see your work, I think that could be an excellent place to, to post that. I personally love sketchbooks because uh, it's, it's not so much what I'm posting now, but it's it's about keeping a continuous running sketchbook. I, I've kept a... I haven't updated recently, but uh, I've kept a, up a blog since 2008, mm. and uh, it's awesome to be able to go back and see your progress. You can kind of see at what point something like clicked. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but keeping it, but keeping a, a, a blog or a sketchbook like that on a forum, it's it's a great way to get feedback and to really just have an honest look of your improvement as an artist. Mm. But yeah, uh, as the main thing, you know, we really wanted to tell you guys about the art challenge. And this month's theme is pirates. So, you know, if you're feeling creative, I know that Art Station has just had their challenge, so maybe people are super exhausted. <laughs> but the nice thing is we are gonna be running these challenges every month. Um so if you don't if you miss this one or you're tired or maybe you're I don't know, summer holiday or something, 
We're going to have an, a new theme coming up next month and the month after that. So there's going to be plenty of opportunity to compete. But, you know, if you want to support the community and you feel like you want to enter and try to win some, some free products, definitely check out the Pirates Challenge. I think it's going to be super fun. I was thinking of making a, something pirate related myself. Obviously, you can't I, win, though. Obviously, I, I can't win. That would just be for fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm completely disqualified from, from yeah. any prizes. <laughs> yeah, if you want some prizes, Martin, we, we can hook you up with some, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some maybe, cool prizes. Maybe I can get a promo code for my own <laughs> yeah, exactly. products. What yeah. we're trying to do as well with this is, again, it's not a limitation. It's really it's a, really a starting point. So if you have an interesting interpretation of the theme as well, if you're doing mm-hmm. like an internet pirate or, you know, whatever <laughs> is space pirate, yeah. uh, whatever it is you want to do, some awesome, an awesome 17th century canon, you know, just make something which makes you inspired. Yeah, and I think the, an important thing here is that this doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean like the, the, the technically best uh, render will win like if we see something that has you know awesome execution and the idea is really nice um and the final presentation is pretty decent you know that could also stand a chance of winning so i mean i, I think this competition is really for everyone and we want to be as inclusive as we can going forward and feel free to use uh, pre-existing concept art obviously obviously with the permission of the concept artists, hopefully. Yeah. But um, you don't have to design your own thing. If you find an awesome treasure chest concept and you just really want to model that up and sculpt that and texture it up and make it as awesome as you can, feel free to do that. So yeah, this was just like a quick little announcement plugging the new form. Um, we really invite everyone to just go and, and check it out, especially Rage on the Blender post, because I know people <laughs> have been doing that. <laughs> just give me tons of flame, I can take. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that is also a thing, you know, new, there's Blender content coming from both of us in the in the near future. Yes, we are working on very exciting so things. Definitely there. stay up to date with that. Now that Blender is 2.8, you know, everyone wants to get in on the action because now it's Oh, it's the new hot thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's going to be about it for this video. So um, make sure you uh, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think of the forum. If you have any suggestions for what we can update, how we can change it, and anything you would like to see in the future uh, about sort of like the Flip Normals community. We are, we're definitely, we definitely want to listen to you guys as you are like the backbone of, of this whole community. And if you have ideas for Blender training, anything mm. specific in Blender you are actually, you're struggling with or you really want to see tutorials on, we are very much open at the moment for, for awesome training we can do for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, thanks guys.